What's up everybody, this is Alex with PBI. We are here at an event, going to get an exclusive behind the scenes look at what photo boothing is all about. I'm here with my man, David. How are you, David? Hey, what's up everybody? This is David with Fotos y Recuerdos Photo Booth. Today I got my crew here today. We got my wife, Felisa, and one of my daughters, uh, Ellie. Say hi, Ellie. Hi, my name is Ellie with Fotos y Recuerdos. Awesome. Yeah, today we got a gig. It's a three hour gig. We want to arrive about, since it's a new place for me, we like to arrive about two and a half, three hours early just to A, for traffic, B, parking, as you can see right here, to make sure we find a place, to, a good place to unload. And this green box. Because the box is probably what, like a two person, or you, or, you, or you can take it out yourself? I can take it out myself, but it'll be, it'll be a good idea to be a two person. What we like, also like to do is when we arrive is go and talk either to the coordinator, the venue owner, or the mom or the dad, depending on who is, who's in charge there, to get a, an idea of where we're going to be set up for the night and, uh, you know, just introduce ourselves for sure for, to either one of them. For sure, for sure. It's always good to do that, you know, when you get here. Oh, yeah. The key is probably to arrive early, right? Oh, man. Early just to avoid traffic, like I said, parking, uh, get in there before it gets crowded to... Once it's, it gets started and it gets crowded, it's, it kind of gets hard to get your equipment in and everything. Awesome. So, David, let me ask you a question, bro. How long have you been doing this for? Uh, I want to say a little bit under a year. Uh, I mean, it's gone so fast that it feels like maybe a few months, but it's a little bit of, uh, under a year, almost. Cool, cool. Uh, so it's going good for you so far now? Oh, man, we're busy every weekend, sometimes even during the week, which is awesome. And... Uh, Every event is different. There's not one the same. That's why, like, like I said, we have to arrive two and a half to three hours early, just because you don't you don't know what to expect. So right, you want right. to make sure that everything it goes run smooth for you, and you have that time, that wiggle room time to fix something or you know adjust something. How much does it does it cost to to kind of start investing in your own business and and, and, and photo booting? See, this one, uh, mine, I, I mean, for my, my personally, it, it was around $12,000, and that's including all the equipment. And we're talking about the extra props, extra lighting for the booth, uh, just a little extras, extra props, um, you know, just little, uh, almost every week or every month, we try to add and incorporate something new to it just to, just to give it something new. What about tonight? Um, like, on average per gig, how, 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 much, how much do you do you make? And for how long are you here for? Uh, average is three hours, and we try to keep it at about 200 an hour. Uh, there's some that we make about 700 for the for the night. Some we've made up to what 1,200 for the night uh, for three hours, just depending on the on the event itself, the what kind of backdrop they choose. Uh, of course, the hours. If it's digital only, if it's digital and print. Uh, if they want to add an album, it's just different packages that we pr that we provide. Dude, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Not many people are making two hundred dollars an hour. No, no. <laughs> cool. And how much? How much were you at this month? Uh, this month, uh, I mean, it's only what well, uh, second week of the month. Oh, see, I was out of town last week, so I had my wife and her sister run run the booth. So, so it's, that. It's, it's easy enough that uh, the family could do it. Oh right? man, yeah, yeah. I, I could take a break, <laughs> take a little mini vacation. I went. I took my daughter to Philadelphia, New York, for the weekend. For the weekend, and I, I left the booth behind my truck. I was a little, little uh, nervous about it, you know, of course, because it was the first time I leave my baby alone. But hey, it was in good hands. She took care of it. No scratches, no dents. We almost fired him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, if, if that works, I'll just buy another one because that's how fun this is. You know, like you just yeah. want to, you want to buy more and invest more because you see the, the, the outcome of it. You see the profit. It's very fun, especially because you get to do it as a family together, and you get to. Uh, know new places and you get to meet new people and um, the food is always so good. Oh yeah, the cake. <laughs> the, cake. the cake. That's one of the perks, right? Yeah, it's yeah. always a perk. So have you ever started a business before or is this your first business idea? I actually started? have a, a maid service in downtown Dallas um, that, that we, I've had for about six years maybe? Yes. Yeah, about six years. But I mean, it's not that I got tired of it. It's still going. It's still there. I don't know if I can promote it, but uh, it's going. But I, I just wanted something extra, I guess you could say, 
because uh, a little extra income doesn't hurt, you know, and this is more than I expected extra. Like I was expecting maybe right. a 200 extra for the weekend or something. Oh no, we're talking about in the thousand range, like thousand, fifteen hundred extra a uh, week, I'm sorry, not a month, a week that, wow. that we make. So yeah, it's, it's, it's very lucrative, man. You know, like it's profitable right, and it's, it's easy. Thankfully, you know, people are noticing and they're calling us, uh, emailing us, texting us, reaching out to us. And even sometimes at the event itself, we'll pick up a contract right. from uh, someone else. They're like, oh, we love your setup. Right. We've never Events seen it. are a form, a form of uh, marketing as well. Yes. Free marketing. Because when you set up and the guests like your setup, then, hey, you get a chance for someone to call you up, too. What about the, do you get any sort of support from Photo Booth International? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I love when they're always... Uh, how do you uh, share our pages? They're always sharing our sharing our content. Um, of course, uh, other DJs as well. Like for example, I'm I'm teamed up with uh, uh, Corona Entertainment, and also uh, helping out uh, Nate with DNA Event Services. We're always uh, helping each other out as well. Got Jaime Prado too with Luxury Photo Booth. So we're always it's a whole team. PBI, uh, you know, always looking out it's for family. us. Family. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's a whole family. You know, like and these are guys that I didn't. Well, I only knew Jaime Prado, but I didn't know James before, and I didn't know Nate and, and his crew before. Uh, AV AV Entertainment, and it's just a whole family. You know, like like you 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 make a bond with all these events, things that I I never thought I'd have a bond right. with other DJs. Uh, we got also Alex with Luxury Photo Booth with Crumb. I mean, it's just, and that's Crumb. I've never even heard of Crumb before. Crumb, Texas. <laughs> and I heard about, I'm like, whoa, man, where's that? You know, but it's just people like different, from different areas of the Metroplex that you just make this connection and, and network. Yeah, you get to network with other vendors as well, not just with guests, but also vendors as well. That's the fun part about it. Yeah, and Joshua PBI, man, he's been, he's something else, man. He's, he's, he's been helping us out. Like I said, uh, He's, he's uh, a phone call away or text away. So if you had one tip for anybody who is interested, anyone who is as motivated as you guys are, what would that one or two tips be if they were looking to get into a photo booth business? Be patient, I think. Um, it's not gonna be from one day to the other. It's gonna take time to network. Uh, it's gonna take uh, effort on your end as, as far as putting learning the system learning the the setups learning you know what people like the you know what's in what's not in that's good so no doubt um this is just a, another business of yours yes. that you ventured out in and it's treating you well and it has completely helped to change your life um that's what's up man so uh, without further ado, let's let's get to cracking, man. Let's break this. Let's, let's break yeah, it yeah. out. Let's break little... it out of the box. Yeah, yeah I've had you here for like for like 15 minutes already, bro. Yeah, yeah. We no, we'll, to... we'll unload quick. That the unloading takes. Uh, and that's another thing I want to make sure you have gotta practice, practice loading, practice unloading, practice, practice, practice. Is my model. Yeah. One thing that I uh, I did learn uh, as I went is I don't know if you want to take a look at how this I have my setup here. Okay. But you want to treat it like a game. I, I treat it as a game, as a Tetris game, a puzzle. I always try to have everything the exact same way because that's the way it fits. Like I'm talking about where the box goes, the mirror, the foldable box, my equipment stuff. Like the way this is it, if this, uh, if this is right now, at the end of the night, when I load it, that's exactly how it's going to be. And that's something that something that I practiced. Took me a few times to get the good the good uh, practice going, but I, I got it. There we go. So what you're saying is, you'll probably take anybody on on Tetris, right? That's yeah. <laughs> <what I'm> <laughs>